I'm making this kind of instrument. But first I got this bamboo. The bamboo is hollow inside. I have those uh, white, dirty stuff inside. So I had to put this thing and clean it. And that's how I clean it. I put it, I clean it, clean it. Go like this, turn it, turn it, I clean it. See, did something come out? And I go here, I try it in my mouth. And I take my knife again. It's good now. I cut this hole one and two, then three. When I got this three, by doing this test, make sure it's it working. Then I test it, make sure they have a two note. So that's how I got it right. Then I drain my hole here, six hole. Then I put it back in play. That's how they play it, okay? And then they move to a more modern, and they have the thing, the reeds here, and this one is a metal. It's cut with the brown. <laughs> and they go on and make this one into a six one six together and they got this big one so you got one two three four five six and this big one have a three reeds this time they make it longer and bigger so they cannot put all this in their mouth so they make this big brown one and now i put my mouth here and blow here the reeds inside so i'm gonna try the short one to the long one and that's how they play it. Whoa. And a person well, in order to know how to do this just by experience and watch it and memorize. So if you don't have a good memory, it's going to be very hard for you to cut this time and cut next time. And um, not very man many people can, many lady can do this much thing. And I could remember that my mom is one that a lot of uh, my cousin come to her and to cut the pattern. But when a person get the... Uh, the idea about how this pattern going, one person can be very, very good, and she <laughs> a lot of uh, this cutting with a very interesting design. You cut all your five squares the same size, and you glue it into a maybe green, one green and one red like this. Maybe they even have. A See, you got this one. You make another piece like this green, and just put one next next to each of five of them and just very long, and then they have those kind of border, and you, uh, then you can put on the wall and you have the whole set. Mm -hmm. And then there's one, you see the, those very careful, they have those little dot, maybe green, red, and yellow, all kind of color. You, if you want it, you can do that too. You can just make line, they make all line in a square way, so just, usually they make a triangle. It's very, it's very hard to see it. I think by this you can make dot, it will just look kind of almost the same. Go all the way straight there and go that corner, make your square that direction. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you got to share through the class. Yeah. You got to share through the class and everyone share that and you want to make more, you watch, you watch how I fold it and that's how you cut it. It's just like you're cutting snowflake, but you just have to remember and know the pattern. A very short story for what they've been telling the kid about. This story is a kind of popular, very popular for the kid. They say that long, long time ago, this, is, this man here had a big wish. 
you know, the earth just form. People don't work very hard because at food they walk home, and all the kind of all the kind of food that you eat, like a banana, cucumber, pineapple, rice, or corn, or anything food, they only grow in one tree. So they go by themselves. They grow when it's time to harvest. They go <laughs> home. So the man here, they they don't get to work to do anything. But one year, he had to make a house for them for the food. And this year, he's kind of lazy because he didn't get to work very much, and he didn't repair the big house. So he's still sleeping, and the food start walking home. And the food knock at the door, and he he asked, uh, "Who's out there?" And there's a food, and the man kind of a little bit angry. Cause, well, go get out of there. I'm, st I'm still sleeping. And go, go back to the farm. When I need you guys, I will come and get by myself. Well, he did not realize that everything grew in one tree. Since all his life, he just eat it. Now, when he went back to the farm, everything was separated. When they go to the farm, they break it down. They grow roots. They go their separate way. And then when he gets to the farm, he had to cut down the tree, clean the land, and grow the seed, everything. And um, he had to clean the weeds so the crops will grow better. And he had to cut down these hemp's and bring all these pine down here and peel off the skin and make it thread here and then wash it. And this is the green mong girl that you make this. And for a young girl, when you got married to a green mong, you're going to have to make this one first. And this one, you can make only one per year. It's very, very, very hard. See, for example, you are not a green mom, and your mom do, doesn't teach you. And you, now you married to so your mother-in-law and have to teach you. And then you're going to use a three piece to get this piece. You do the batik. Batik, and then it's hard work. You draw all the design here, and you dye it, and you melt off the wax. You do all that. And after that, then you, go, you do the cross stitches, and you do all this and fill in the line. And you do that, and you have to use an, a needle to scrape, scrape the line and put all the pleat together and put the thread by one and all the way around it, just the one in the counter there. And it, you can only make one per year. You, you make four or five per year, then you probably don't have anything to eat, but you got to work too. You go <laughs>